Hello, my name's Wardro. Sometimes I go by Wood, Woody, Roma Boy, Who, Cindy Lou, and I can do it too with Can Do. And today I feel honoured to be auditioning for the role of Santa Claus in the new commercial Sufficiently Stuffed Stockings. Try and say that ten times fast. Trust me, it'll ruin your Christmas. Anyway, I don't think Sir Nick himself needs any introduction, but you know, the man, the white bearded myth, the uh, jolly bumbling legend. <laughs> it sounds a bit like me, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just a coincidence. Uh, anyway, um, here we go. Sorry, sit down now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Ho, 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 hello there. Welcome to the pole where all your dreams come true. I'm Santa, nice to meet you. Are you here for the tour? Oh, the elves at it again. You know, when they can't be bothered to do the damn work, they send people like you to distract me. <laughs> Take up my time. Well, ho, 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 it's a pleasure to have you. Right, well, let's get going. First stop, the stables. You better not shout, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. So Here we are with my reindeer now. They're all really happy to see you, as you can see. Let me introduce you. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner and Blitzen. There has been some confusion over the years with the names. Donner goes by Donder, Blitzen, Blixen. I really don't care what you call them. They will not respond if you call their name. They answer to one man, and that's me. <laughs> now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I have pet names for my dear. I'm going to take you through. Dasher goes by Rasher because I love bacon, and it scares the shit out of him because he thinks I'm going to eat him. <laughs> Family fun. Dancer goes by Hip Hop because it's my favourite of the boogies. Prancer, well... I just call him Dancer to confuse him. <laughs> He's an idiot. Vixen Congestion. I'm sure you can figure that one out. Comet goes by Buzz Lightyear. That's my favourite of the movies involving toys. Uh, Cupid. Shooty ass. Now, one, because Cupids shoot you in the ass, don't they? And two, I don't know if you've ever experienced this. Uh, you know when you're just about to sit down and you can get this sharp stabbing pain in your tubes where your ass is and it's, it's a couple of seconds of oh, paralysing pain? Well, I call that shooty ass, and I thought, if I shout that loud enough when I'm riding my sleigh, it might catch on. I then, a few days ago, looked it up on the Urban Dictionary and lo and behold, shooty ass was there. So it worked. So Nick, trendsetter since 280 AD. Now... Donna goes by blood transplant, and Blitzen, well, I just call him Sir Bomalot. <laughs> now, I'm sure you're wondering, where's Rudolph? Rude boy, as I used to call him. Well, he got a bit big for his hooves, I have to say, so I had to let him go. No furlough, nothing. I told him he can come back if he shapes up. Great. All I want for Christmas is you. Here we are in my study. Now, I know everybody wants to hear the list, you know, the ones with all the names and the gifts. So uh, here we go. Let's read you a few. Right, first we have Trudy, based in Hlangochlem. She wants a drum kit. Oh, these are my favourites because, yes, they're a bitch to transport, but they annoy the shit out of the families for a whole year. It's fantastic. Right, next we have Lisa and Brian, brother and sister, Based in Hull, both wanting a, a gym membership. Who do they think they are? The young people nowadays. They have everything offered to them. You know, they could ask for a swanky new PlayStation, but no, they want a membership. Do you know how easy it is for me to get my hands on a PlayStation? I've got a deal. They send me hundreds of thousands of them all the time. But do you know how difficult it is for me to get my hands on memberships? I don't have a subscription to every gym in the world. And then I have to go through the whole kerfuffle of going into the dark web and getting their email and signing them up. And it's just, it's a waste of my time. Healthy living is not my forte. Sit down and play your games. Oh, forget about these people. What do you want? Come on now. Come and sit on Santa's lap. You know you want to. Yes, come on now. Yeah, you know you want.
want. So here we go. Now, what do you want? Oh, I don't think I can say that out loud. I might need to put you on the naughty list. Oh, <laughs> you dirty bastard. Ding dong merrily on high. Right, final part of the tour, everyone's favourite, Santa's sleigh. Now, let me explain my gadgets that I have on here. So, first of all, the white seat lining. Now, I know this may look like your bog standard faux leather, but it's not. <laughs> it's fascinating, actually. What are those stupid dogs called um, with the long hair? Maltese, yes. Well, there's a lot of white ones out there. And so every time those silly dogs go for a trim, the hair gets sent straight to me. We weave it together, iron it out, put it through the laminator and just staple it on here. It's great. Next, we have these bespoke indicators. Now, I know what you're thinking, you know, just pull the reins this way and that and yonder the reindeers fly. But just think for a moment, the air traffic we get nowadays, the amount of collisions I've had with robins over the last few years is devastating. You think roadkill is bad? Try and watch it fall thousands of metres from the sky. And then the robin's falling, and then another robin's flying past and thinks it's watching its life pass before its eyes, so then it dies, and it's just like a domino effect of robins just falling to their doom willy-nilly. <laughs> it's terrible. So, because I'm so thoughtful, I got my hands on these. Now, just like the highway code, right, left, slow down, you'll know the rest. And that's that. Finally, we have this riding crop. Now, I had this sent to me, and um, I'm not really sore the fluffy bits for, but I have to say, it's a nice addition. Right, well, it's been a real pleasure. For you, I imagine. Now, obviously, as I'm sure the penguin said on your way in, you must never speak of any of this ever again. If you do, you do risk trial by orange. <laughs> Great, well, Merry Christmas and ho, ho, ho. Don't let the bells end, Christmas time. Don't let the bells end. Oh, fucking hell, it's itchy.